Here we are for sale, our absolutely stunning 2022 on a 22 plate. This is the Volkswagen Transporter, it's the T6.1, which is the shape. This one is a T32, meaning it's got a 3.2 tonne gross vehicle weight, and I'll tell you why that's important for any business users a bit later on in the video. This one has got the 2-litre TDI, 150 brake horsepower, diesel, Euro 6 engine, and on this particular vehicle is accompanied with a 7-speed DSG automatic gearbox. And this is the short wheelbase, low roof, high line combi, finished in the absolutely fantastic Ascot Grey. And what we're going to do in this video is have a little walk around. I'll show you the spec that you get on a Highline Combi of this age. This one is far from standard, as you can probably already tell. And we'll also have a really good look at things like the condition. I mean, this vehicle is very, very new with very low miles, but still, uh, nevertheless, we'll still have a really good look around the vehicle uh, to pick up if there are any blemishes on this particular van, seeing as it is currently available for sale at the time of recording here with us at Bridgend van center so starting here then at the rear of the vehicle we can see that this one is specced with a rear glazed tailgate so a tailgate is one door which opens up like so and glazed meaning it has got the rear window coming from the factory with the rear window that gives you heated rear glass and also the rear wiper with the wash function as well now this vehicle has been completely debadged on the back so you usually have a transporter badge on here which has been removed and the badges have been changed for a nice gloss black replacement this one has also had a rear spoiler fitted to it and also a lower uh, diffuser at the rear of the bumper here, which has got these nice little fake exhaust tips and things, which gives it much more of an aggressive look here at the back. Now, standard spec on a Highline, you do get, of course, color-coded bumpers, but you also get rear parking sensors completely as standard. All of the door handles around the vehicle, including on the back and on the sides, again, all come color-coded uh, in the fantastic Ascot Grey. This one has got an optional extra back here and that is the reversing camera, so lovely to see that. If we open up the tailgate, we can start to have a look inside the load space. And you can see then in the back that this one has been fully insulated and uh, carpet lined, which gives the vehicle much more of a car-like feel in the back of here. And of course, being that it is insulated, it does really help to dent down the sound. Sorry if the camera isn't quite focusing there. Let me just try and turn the brightness up a touch. Hopefully that will help things there. But yeah, as I say, this really does help to dent down any uh, road noise as you're driving along, uh, but also, as I say, just gives it much more of a car-like feel. This one, as you can see as well, has also got a nice set of LED spotlights there uh, on the headlining. Plenty of tie-down points in the back of the vehicle. As I say, all this comes as standard and lovely, uh, soft touch floors, as I say, that comes as standard in the combi. Of course, the carpet lining and LED uh, roof lights do not. Any uh, sort of transporter connoisseurs will know what these mean, and we'll uh, show you in uh, just a second. This is the correct placement here for the toolkit, uh, and of course, as you'd expect with this sort of miles, condition in the back of you is absolutely faultless. Inside the rear tailgate as well, that has also been done in the carpet lining. We shut the tailgate then we continue to go around the outside of the vehicles so and moving then down the passenger side now lots of elements again which have been changed and uh, upgraded here so this vehicle has been lowered all around by 40 millimeters and that just really helps these 20 inch momo revenge alloy wheels uh, fit much nicer in the arch i hope you agree it's absolutely stunning look to this van i say coming on to those alloy wheels so satin black finish momo revenge all fully load rated for a t32 absolutely fantastic alloy wheels probably my absolute personal uh, favorite for a transport i just think they set it off so so nicely we can also see that a nice side skirt has been added as well which just ties in really well as you can see there to that rear diffuser we've also got a set of black uh, roof bars there as well now those boxes that I showed you inside the rear about here. Uh, what they are is motors for the electric doors. So very, very nice spec option to have. Of course, that does not come as standard. That is a really nice factory optional extra. The other one is also um, electric as well. Now, another thing which has been changed on this particular vehicle, this one has benefited from a full leather interior. So again, all uh, freshly done. Uh, nice perforation here on the outside and then this lovely style uh, hex uh, hexagon stitching uh, in the middle with these sort of diamonds on the in inlet there as well uh, with a lovely uh, lighter stitch there to contrast of course you've got isofix compatibility across the rear seats and massive 
versatility with these rear seats as well which is one of the reasons that transporters are so popular uh, this one again has got another optional extra which is a two plus a one uh, rear seating configuration which means you can operate these seats completely independently if you go through to the full advert if you haven't already i have taken photos uh, of these in the various positions but basically you can pull the seat up just there using that handle that gives you access then into the back you can also use this little tab and that tab just there to fold those seats completely down flat as well while we're here in the back we can see that this one has also got a nice drop down uh, dvd player uh, or you know dvd screen it should come on in just a second there we go uh, while we're waiting for that you can see that you have got a few uh, inlets here or, or ports here so you've got hdmi uh, there's an sd card slot there and a usb uh, and as I say, currently on the uh, DVD set, the DVD tray is on the other side, but certainly one to keep your rear passengers happy, children possibly. Uh, it always goes down a storm there. Looking then into the front of the vehicle, lovely condition there, uh, as you'd expect of the passenger door card. Looking inside the cab then, absolutely spot on here. This one, again, another optional extra. This one has got cab carpet, so this is factory carpet on the floor here in the cab. Again, just really helps with sound deadening and also giving it that car-like feel. And this one has also got a nice set of Volkswagen rubber over mats there, which just help things uh, to keep nice and clean. Looking then at the front seats, and of course, they didn't just leave it at the rear seats. This has had a lovely uh, leather upholstery done on the front seats but the thing to note here is that they haven't just recovered these seats these have actually got upgraded bolsters so more hugging bolsters here on the side but also these higher uh, sort of shoulder blades basically at the back as well which really make it feel very very nice to uh, to drive much more of a hugging uh, seat design twin adjustable armrest you can set those to your uh, desired height using the little roller just underneath there, but absolutely fantastic in there and smells absolutely lovely as well. Of course, the full book pack comes with the vehicle with the leather wallet as well. We'll come around to a bit more of the spec when we go around to that side. Once you're done with the door, there's a number of ways which you can close it, but one of which is uh, exactly like that, just pulling on the handle and you can let it, you can literally walk away and it will shut nicely there for you. You can also do it off the key and off the dashboard. I'll show you those in just a second. Moving then around to the front, uh, the front quarter here. So this one has got the Leighton Vans LVS front splitter. Uh, absolutely fantastic front splitter. We fit this on a lot of our vehicles. We didn't fit it on this one, actually. It came to us like this, but uh, we fit that on a lot of vehicles. It really uh, does set a transporter off ever so well. This one has had all the uh, grills on the front changed for gloss black as well. I think, as I'm sure you'll agree, when you pair that with that front splitter, it looks absolutely stunning. And Ascot Grey, it is just uh, probably the most desirable colour that you can get in a transporter. Really does set it off very, very nicely indeed. This one, again, another optional extra. This one has got the LED headlights, a massive upgrade again. Uh, and as I say, kind of at this level of transporter, you can't be without LED headlights. It just makes a huge, huge difference over the standard ones. Uh, and it comes with this nice LED daytime running light as well. Gloss black front badge. You get front parking sensors as standard on a Highline as well as front fog lights. But this is not what the standard uh, transporter looks like from the front end. Uh, that is absolutely stunning, I think, in the Ascot Grey with all of the styling elements. In terms of condition of the body, of course, there's not really a huge amount to fault it on. It's done very low miles, as you'll see in just a second. And we'll open up. The driver's side side loading door from this side as well. Now you can turn that function off. So if you're carrying children in the back of you, you can turn it off so that they can't just pull on the handle and let themselves out. But absolutely lovely. Let's open up the driver's door then, have a look inside the cab. The sort of extras haven't finished just yet. Lovely condition, of course, as you'd expect on the step and the floor just there. Same with the driver's door card. On top of the driver's door then, we have electric windows, electric heated folding mirrors so that's how those fold just there by putting it to that position when you change it then to one of the other positions say the heated position they will automatically then fold back out auto activated lights you can see of course we have two full remote keys with the vehicle and while looking at that key you can actually see that you can operate the doors on those two buttons there so as you're walking up to it you can just press one of those buttons and the door will open up nicely for you ready to get in looking at the driver's seat then of course no wear here uh, we've got uh, height adjustability on the driver's seat and again those adjustable armrests i'm just having a look at the design of that seat i think it's absolutely stunning really complements it very well 
and lovely VW badge there in the backrest of both of those front seats. This one, uh, again, I told you the extras hadn't stopped there. We've also then got, oh, let me just uh, silence this for one second. We've also then got a nice uh, upgraded steering wheel. So this is a, a, a thicker steering wheel, much more molded around the hand area here. Of course, still flat bottom uh, with this perforated leather on both sides. And we've got the stitch in there and the nice gray stitch in underneath and the gray sort of straight ahead line there as well. But really does feel very, very nice in the hand. Uh, and when you're driving, it just makes you realize that you're not in something uh, quite standard there. On the steering wheel then, we have your adaptive cruise control on the left-hand side there and your volume controls for the radio. On the right-hand side then, we've got your um, onboard computer controls and you can also skip to the next track if you want to. The mileage on this vehicle, 1,149 miles. Uh, I can't quite call it delivery miles, but it's certainly not far off that. We've got 12 volt socket just up on top of there. Under here then, a bit more standard Highline specs. You get a heated windscreen as standard. Air conditioning comes as standard as well, and the heated rear window, which I mentioned a bit late, er, earlier on. This one, again, another optional extra, has got heated front seats, and this is how you can control the doors there using the button there on the dashboard. And as you can see, they will just come uh, open and closed as you want there, just using the buttons on the dashboard and I say the middle button you can turn that system off if you want to. Looking then into the center now on the uh, T6.1 transporter like this uh, they do come with this screen as standard and that gives you Apple CarPlay so that's why I've got my phone plugged in down there just to demonstrate that. It comes with Apple CarPlay, Android Auto as well uh, just an absolutely fantastic system you can use things like your Apple Maps on here listen to your music via uh, Spotify, Apple Music pod, or, or your podcasts all very very seamless indeed. If we go back to the radio page, you have got DAB radio on there. And if I put the vehicle into reverse, that's where your rear camera is displayed on there as well. Now, I did mention a bit earlier on in the video why it was important that this is a T32. So uh, that basically means, as I say, it's got a 3.2 tonne gross vehicle weight. But what that means is that this vehicle is still classed as a commercial vehicle, regardless of all uh, the added extras and goodies that are on this particular van. It is still classed as a commercial vehicle. So you can run this as a director of a uh, business, put it through, uh, put it through your business, you know, let the business pay for it, whether that be via uh, you know, finance, finance, lease, lease purchase, but however you would like to do it, or of course just pay for it uh, via cash. So that can all be done through the business, um, and as I said, there's big, big tax benefits of that. I'm not an accountant, but certainly speak to your accountant about it, and they will uh, tell you that the T32 is the one to go for. Uh, of course, regardless of that, if you're using this as a private individual T32, you have got an upgraded weight capacity as well. So just to summarize then, this is actually an August 2022, so you've got full VW manufacturer's warranty until August 2025 on a 22-plate Volkswagen Transporter T6.1 T32 Highline DSG Combi, 150 uh, brake horsepower, as I mentioned, from that 2-litre TDI engine. Fantastic spec. Uh, of course, lots of factory extras, including the twin electric side-loading doors, LED headlights, 2 plus 1 rear seating. We've also got the uh, reversing camera, cab carpet, heated seats, really, really nice uh, factory spec, and of course a whole host of extras on this particular vehicle as well. Uh, got, of course, that whole new front end, all gloss black front grills, Leighton Vans front spoiler. Love that little Ascot Grey stripe there as well, which goes through the lower grills. 20-inch Momo alloy wheels, uh, lowered front and back, of course. We've got the side skirts, the rear diffuser, roof bars, full leather interior which is absolutely stunning and carpet lined and insulated in the back as well it's just a real complete package only a thousand miles on it and i say a fantastic balance of manufacturer's warranty as well for your peace of mind if you'd like to see the full advert of this vehicle if you haven't already please head over to our website bridgeendvans.co.uk this is where you'll find the full photography the price and of course the description we will welcome inquiries on either of the numbers listed here at the bottom of the sign we can arrange delivery of all of our vehicles at, uh, of course a very competitive price if that is something that you would like to take us up on we can of course arrange uh, finance as well if you'd like to spread the costs i mentioned whether that be for a private individual or for a uh, for a business and we can take cars or vans in part exchange as well. What an absolutely stunning van. Pleasure to be able to offer it here at Bridgen Van Centre. Thank you very much for watching.